Well, welcome to another video, and I've got a new chair and a new setup. I've spent all day uh, setting this up, so let's get right into the video. Um, J.K. Rowling has been talking on Twitter about um, Dumbledore and Grindelwald's relationship being physical. I, when she announced on Twitter, basically after all the books had been released, without hinting at all in any of the books or anything, that Dumbledore was gay and he was in love with Grindelwald, I was like, eh, I'm not that bothered. It doesn't directly spit into the, in the face of any of the characters, and it, uh, within the, the context of the movies, you could say that nothing really went, you know, went against you know, the characters or anything, or anything that was established in the movies. I always thought Dumbledore what had, was in the love or romantically interested in the, um, Professor McGonagall, but, eh, that's just an opinion of a kid who grew up on the, um, Harry Potter movies. Anyway, um, but, this I cannot really say makes sense compared, you know, when, when you're talking about the characters. Let's quickly talk about, oh, itchiness, let's talk about Grindelwald. Grindelwald, his only desire is power. All he wants to do is uh, get the Elder One, uh, become the Master of Death, you know, ba basically become undefeatable, and uh, um, make uh, wizards superior to muggles. He does not care, the character, he would, this character would not care to have a relationship with anybody, gay, straight, you know, any relationships, pansexual relationship, um, bisexual relationship, um, monogamous, whatever, he, this character would not care for that. All this character wants is power, and he will do anything he can to get that power. And it, uh, we can see that in the movies, that all he really wants is power, and everything he's done up to this point has been for that power. It, even uh, um, being friends with Dumbledore in the first place, he knew Dumbledore was a smart and talented wizard. So he uh, used him and manipulated him. That is not something you do to someone you love. You do not use and manipulate somebody you love. And his entire motive in Fantastical Beast and Where to Find and Crimes of Grindelwald, while it was a boring as fuck movie, his uh, entire motive in it to, to uh, um, get uh, Credence onto his side was so Credence could kill Dumbledore. You do not get somebody to kill the person you love, even if they're standing in the way of you obtaining on power, which Dumbledore at that point in time was not. Bearing in mind, because uh, they had the blood pact, so Dumbledore could not move against Grindelwald. So Grindelwald had no reason to kill Dumbledore, other than wanting him dead. Which is not something you do to somebody you love. Grindelwald, it, all he wants is power. And uh, anything to... Uh, in, uh, and anything in between... Everything else, friends, family, um, relationships, that's all tools to obtain power. And uh, him actually loving Dumbledore spits in the face of that character. Like you can say that their relationship was physical. Like you can say that um, Grindelwald that Dumbledore fucked him in the anus for all I care. But you can, there is no way a character like Grindelwald would actually fall in love. Like, I believe that Dumbledore loved Grindelwald with all his heart. Like, I have no problem with that. That is a very likely scenario. But Grindelwald, it just spits in the face of everything this character has been doing up to this point and everything that character has said. Um, heck, you would e you would even find it uh, you would even find it easier to argue that Dumbledore loves Grindelwald, um, even without J.K. arguing this because 
when Dumbledore does defeat Grindelwald, he doesn't kill Grindelwald, even though Grindelwald is the most powerful wizard. And that uh, um, if he were to ever escape, could potentially, um, you know, bring down the wizard in the community as they know it. He didn't kill him. He just locked him away. And it didn't. And Grindelwald did not die until Voldemort killed him in the movies and books. So, and it, I think if Grindelwald really, truly loved Dumbledore, he would not be going after Credence to kill Dumbledore. In fact, his uh, he would want to stop Credence from killing Dumbledore, and would probably try to push him onto Dumbledore's side if at all possible. <gasps> But what he would do is find a way to imprison Dumbledore or do what uh, um, Voldemort did uh, with his blood pack to the uh, Dumbledore and uh, the Voldemort's crit Horcruxes and hide them. Hide them and make sure Dumbledore can never, ever, ever destroy the blood pack. That's what somebody who would love someone else do. And it, uh, the actions that Grindelwald has taken in the movies does not line up with somebody who has romantic feelings for another character. Um, and it, uh, like I said, all he wants is power. Everything and everyone else are just tools to obtain power. And that's why J.K. Rowling saying that uh, Grindelwald loved Dumbledore. No, that that just isn't Grindelwald. Like, again, Dumbledore loving Grindelwald. He, I can truly believe that because that is something I can see Dumbledore doing. But Grindelwald retaining that love and affection is not something I could ever see be reasonably happening. Without some major, just like ignoring what the character has done, what he, the character wants to do, and uh, um, just ignoring previously established canon. If you ignore all that, then yeah. But if you take into into everything, everything else into account, no, 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 no. Like, I don't care if Dumbledore and Grindelwald are gay, but. Saying that a character like Grindelwald could have a truly loving relationship with anybody is just... No. No, no, no. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.